This is The Wealth Puzzle with Michael Mansfield from The Lynn Group. When a part of your financial strategy is out of tune, your long-term goals, your retirement savings, and your legacy can all suffer. With many years of experience in the financial industry, Michael provides his clients and prospects with the information they need regarding Social Security, Retirement Income Planning, Wealth Management, and much more. Listen in as we address your financial concerns and provide helpful solutions to put you on the path to achieving your retirement goals. And now, here is The Wealth Puzzle with Michael Mansfield. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to The Wealth Puzzle. Uh, I'm here with Mike Mansfield. I'm Tana Pennington. And today we are going to be talking about something I think is kind of exciting, especially for those that are a little concerned about the volatility of the market and possibly, you know, future market conditions. But yeah, let's take a look. We've got this magical triangle of investing that we want to uh, share with you. Cool. Tana, hello, hello, Hi. hello, hello, hello. So how's the drought in Texas? The drought I know, in California right? is great. We Thanks are crafting. just hoping that we get some rain out here. It is pretty crispy. Dude, I was reading about droughts. Did you know, I didn't realize that Mo Montana, Idaho, Utah, everybody's in a drought. And that's so bizarre yeah. in my mind. You think all the snow in a place like Montana, they wouldn't have those issues. They have not been having the snowpack that they usually have year after yeah. year. So it's really been taking a toll. So like Lake Mead, Lake Powell, all of those areas that yeah. usually get that nice runoff, haven't been getting it year after year. So very crazy. So That's anyways, great. hey, down to business. We have a lot to talk about. Stop yes. wasting our time, Tana. Okay. The, um, so, <laughs> hey, look, I a lot of you that listen to this or watch this on YouTube or Rumble, um, a lot of our listeners started back when I was on the radio on, on AM 1590 in the good old days, KVTA. <laughs> um, God, did that. I don't even remember how long we did that for, maybe seven years or something. Yeah, yeah. And then we've been doing this for a number of years. And uh, Tana... How many other times have we ever talked about product on this show? Oh dear, never. Never. We, no, we, we don't. Have do never. That. No. I hate people that talk about products. I find it creepy. <laughs> I find it salesy. Yes. I find it obnoxious. That's so true. I am. I am an. You know, I'm an educated person. I like high level stuff, right? I like. I like yeah. the the purpose of cash flowing and tax management. Yeah. You know, all of that stuff is so relevant to me. The getting into the nitty gritty on if you should buy Apple stock that honestly, those aren't hard questions. The hard question is why are you investing the money and yeah, what is what's the, the purpose, purpose of the money and what are we trying to accomplish and what kind of tax mess are we creating? Well, today, after a lot of years, I must be getting older. Break it's kind of like, it's like your puppy dog getting <laughs> mellower and hanging out and sleeping more during the day. <clears throat> We're going to do a little product talk today, which is yeah. definitely outside of our comfort zone. But first, everybody, this is a this is a little treat for all of you. Mm -hmm. This is a little treat. We're gonna have a reading. A reading. We're gonna have a reading today <laughs> of one of my children's books. Blue Hat. Get cozy. Green Hat. Uh... This is important because here at the Lynn Group, we like colors because colors tell stories, right? We talk about what well, do you know any colors we talk about, Tana? Yeah, red, yellow, green. That's right. We talk <laughs> about red, yellow, and green, right? Red yeah. money, the risky stocks and Mutual funds and ETFs that you own, the green, the safe things, the mm -hmm. the cash at the bank, the the fixed annuities, the cash value life insurances, the yellow money is the management of money. So the difference between an individual picking a stock versus using some kind of financial analyst to analyze a stock. So there's a lot there. And so bada bing, bada boom. We, yes, everybody, this is a prepared show. Shocking. 99.9% uh, .9 <laughs> of our other shows are in no way prepared. Right? We, that is a very true we, statement. We send each other's articles if that's considered preparing, but we literally <laughs> talk about them on the fly. There, yeah. There's no prep. So that only speaks to Tana's genius The um, that she is able to do that. I'm just kidding. My genius. No, I'm not so, very good at so this. So today's show. So we're calling it Growth, Safety, Liquidity. Oops. Oops. <laughs> I got I to gotta work on my oops. And, and the reason being that we're calling it that is because of our book. So this is a book. That has, remember, I have four daughters, right? My oldest is 13. My youngest is now four. It's very tragic. We're pretending like she's a baby still, but she's right? not. Just holding on. She she talked back to me the other she's day and smacked so me. She's so cute. The, um, Tana also has four children. 
Yes. They um. They're older though. They're a little older, so you know she's. <laughs> but this book has been books living anymore. in my life. <laughs> living in my life since I've I've known these I little love it. little babies around the house. Now, uh, for clarity, you're all watching on the screen where I went on the internet and I stole images of the book. That is a copyright infringement. So, if you would like to report us. <laughs> Say that I'm going to say Tana did it. So you're only getting Tana in trouble. Oh, dear. So let us read. Let us read. Now, this is going to be tough for the podcast listeners because they're like, wait, what's happening? I want to see the book because there's yeah, images gotta, on the screen here. You got to go. So here we go. Blue hat, green hat, red hat. Whoops. Now, for all the listeners, you're like, what just happened? These people are getting super weird. So what we got on the screen is we have an elephant wearing a blue hat. We have a moose wearing a green hat and we have a what it's a bear. That? It's an it's Ewok. Ewok. No, it's a bear. It's got to be an Ewok. Ewoks don't have as big of noses. Wearing a red hat. And then you have that darn silly turkey. Mm -hmm. That guy, he's always messing around. He's standing on his hat. Everyone's wearing their hat like they're supposed to. That dang turkey, whoops, he's standing on his hat. Can't quite figure out how to put his hat on. All right, we're going to go on. We're going to go on. Page two. Let's go to page two. Red shirt, blue shirt, yellow shirt. Oops. So as you can guess, if you're a listener, you've got some animals wearing their shirts correctly. And then that darn tootin' turkey has got his <laughs> shirt on his pants. <laughs> now, actually, I lied. I, I never read this to my children. I actually read this every morning when I'm getting dressed, so I know how to put my clothing on. <laughs> I'm shirt. I'm at the shirt phase. What page is that? Now, I'm not going to waste everyone's time. The, the book's a little thicker than this. I'm just going to fast forward to the last page. So on the last page, it says, oops, it's got a bunch of animals in their bathing suits. And it's got that dang turkey and all of his regular clothes jumping into the pool. And everybody knows you don't wear your clothes when you jump in the pool. Not a good idea. So why this kooky analogy? Why this kooky analogy? Because I thought it was interesting. It fought, you know, it's colors. It kind of had the three things. And then it kind of does this, this oops thing. And it's funny because for years, Tana and I have touted three things that create the, the fundamental basis for how you pick investments. Tana, if I could offer you an investment that would grow, would you like that? Absolutely. Well, geez, thank, thank you for that <laughs> strong response. What if that investment was also safe? You didn't have to worry about it. Oh, I would sleep better at night. Yes. All right. So we're doing good, right? You got this yeah. thing. It's growing like a missile. It's never yep. can go down. It's hot dog. And oh, by the way, it's completely liquid. So if you need to pull the money out oh, tomorrow, to take down to the Derby Club here down by the fairgrounds, yeah. that unlucky seven, you'd be all about it, right? Easy peasy. So for years, our whole, my whole life, my adult life, <laughs> we've talked about this trifecta of investing, right? Mm -hmm. And the way that investing works is you get to pick two out of the three. So you've got growth, safety, liquidity, which two do you like best? And, and our approach when we do retirement income planning is when we segment and bucket monies, we look at it differently. If we have long-term money in your portfolio, well, guess what? Growth is going to be an important mm -hmm. piece of that. Yeah, if I absolutely. have short-term money in your portfolio, liquidity is going to be an important yeah. piece of that. And so we have to start identifying buckets of money and where we use it. So Tana, this is like a, this is like a quiz question today. What are the three major places where we can invest money? Okay. So like your bank, check. Oh, your the account, banks. CDs. We've got one right here. Yep. yep. All right. So at the bank, we've got checking accounts, yep. highly entertaining, right? A savings account, a very fascinating. And then that, that, that impressive CD, you know, we had someone uh, just recently come in and they brought in a 12 month CD at point. Oh, there's a dot for terrible 0.15 percent. And I Nothing. thought, how was the paperwork, the time you spent on the paperwork even worth this? Worth it? No. I mean, how tragic is that? So, oh, Tana, tell me about a bank. What What are the out of uh, out of our trifecta of things? What is the benefit of a bank? Yeah. So we're looking at safety, definitely. And then liquidity. You can go down, take out your money at any time. I don't know. With your husband, Chris, and your bank account, I don't know how safe it is. <laughs> but very little, if not any, growth right now. So Yeah, there's no growth, right? Yeah. But you have right. principal protection. Yeah. You can get the money whenever you want. That's why people have money at the bank. That's why you keep your emergency fund yeah. there. Is if Immediate I need Immediate funds, yeah. A thousand bucks to put tires on the car. I don't want to. Oh, I gotta go liquidate my my Google stock and you know yeah, and sell it and no. figure. Oh, I'll wait, it's down today. <laughs> right? We have an emergency <laughs> fund in cash at the bank yeah. for a real reason. It also provides a very happy 
emergency safety blanket. It just feels good to know mm -hmm. that we have that liquidity ready to go whenever we need Absolutely. it. Absolutely. But the bummer, as usual with a bank, that bad boy ain't going up. Mm -mm. Right? All right. What's the next place we can invest money, young lady? Securities. Securities. So anything like stocks, bonds, ETFs, mutual funds, any of the alternative you know, investments. Yeah, like a like variable a REIT, annuities. Variable annuity, yep. some private weird yeah. placement thing that your your buddy got you into. <laughs> right. Not um, a good idea. You know, buying real estate. If you okay, don't so understand the... it, don't invest in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> if it's yeah, if it's not regulated by a government entity, yeah. It ain't for you. Yeah. Not a good idea. Yeah. Um, all right. So what are the benefits of investing in securities? Okay. So definitely high potential for growth. Yeah. Right. And then very liquid, which yeah. is another Absolutely. Yep. But then there's a, more there's risk a character involved. flaw though, right? Yeah, we're we're living in the character flaw right now, right? <laughs> the, the safety component of the stock market isn't there yeah. at the moment, right? It has the high potential of growth, but it, it can fall apart just as quickly. But it's highly liquid, right? We could sell our stocks right mm -hmm. now. Hang on, I'm selling stocks. Hang on. All right, they're sold. Whew. Um, but it's amazing. You look at the the volatility and growth. The stock market was up, you know, 20, 30% last year. It's yeah. down 15, 20% this year. You know, it's all over the map. But hopefully over periods of time, that growth outweighs the safety risk. Mm -hmm. Once again, when you build a retirement plan, these two out of three components are relative to where you're placing money in your retirement plan. Like you said, if you are a long term, if you looked at your longer term money, the money you didn't need for 15, 25 years. You can afford the the safety risk and mm -hmm. go for the growth. But if you need it tomorrow, <laughs> safety is really important. <laughs> All right. So the third thing where we can put money is insurance, right? And mm -hmm. so that's some kind of annuity, some fixed style annuity, a fixed index annuity, or some kind of cash value life insurance, whole life insurance, universal life insurance kind of stuff. What would you say are the benefits of investing insurance, Tana? Well, you've got a level of protection, principal protection there. Absolutely. As well as uh, potential for growth. Right. But well, not necessarily liquid. There's generally be, a flaw, right? So yeah, normally yeah. when you get into Surrender a vehicle like that, penalty. it's it's a commitment period. Yeah. Um, my wife has a cash value life insurance policy. And the way that we set it up was on a 30-year game plan. But since I married her when she was 15, we figured <laughs> you did not. we got plenty of time. <laughs> we got married in Arkansas. The... <laughs> um. <laughs> This is, this is oh i love this is, it this is why people watch this tana they, she they just, is younger than you though yes they, well okay now you made it creepy i was joking no 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 she's, not not a lot younger but yeah she's i'm not saying out loud now i'm embarrassed <laughs> she's amazing she's though always, she's gorgeous do you, <clears throat> um, what about me the um <laughs> So insurance has its own merits, right? It has principal protection. Mm -hmm. It has the ability to grow, but normally there's some kind of limited liquidity. You're going to commit to it. I mean, the shortest yeah. annuity is a five-year commitment. Right. The, the typical annuity is like a nine to 10-year commitment. So these, these things, you know, you, you tie it up. So remember the book, right? We had a little thing in the beginning and we called the show Growth, Safety, Liquidity. Whoops, right? There's a little turkey in the room here, right? And so in our structured normalness, we look at the picking, the two out of the three, the go growth, safety, liquidity, and now we get to the ups. And the reason that we wanted to kind of put this together today is Tan and I have been working together for years. We look at a lot of things. We explore a lot of things. We evaluate a lot of things. And it was interesting to come across one of our investment vehicles that we were constantly evaluating. And as the products evolved, this one dips its toe into all three categories. It mm -hmm. has safety, it has growth, it has liquidity. And I find that fascinating because it, it does kind of debunk, in a sense, the general speaking, you know, pick two out of three, looking at the traditional stock market or bank accounts, things of that nature. And so that's awesome, right? This is unique. And so what I wanted to do is we, we actually pulled an illustration. So just to kind of give you a little bit of a template. Look, if you're listening to this on the podcast, this is going to be a tough. You could send me an email. I'll happily send you these slides so you can look yeah. at them. But otherwise, if you're watching this on YouTube or Rumble, this will be a little clearer. Everybody's individual situation is different. So it depends on your age and whatnot. But what you see here is I ran. And if you look at the right side of the screen, this thing says guaranteed. 
So this is the doomsday apocalypse. This is the worst case scenario for this investment vehicle. This is the, I wake up, the world is on fire, the brimstone is falling. Blah! What does it look like? <laughs> so you see year one, read the top of the line, everybody. Year one, I put in a hundred grand, right, Tana? Yep. Premium just says a hundred thousand. Notice below it, it's all zeros. That means on one time I put in a hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. What is a hundred grand to you? Nothing. That's not what this takes. You could put in 10 grand. You could put in 10 million. It doesn't really matter. Tana said a hundred grand sounded like a nice round yep. number since that's what she throws around all the time in her personal life. <laughs> she writes a lot of hundred thousand dollars. I checks. wish. What? Don't, what? Don't you? No. <sighs> I write, I write dollar checks at the dollar. <laughs> I still write checks. Penny checks. The, the uh, penny checks. Dollar 25 star. I apologize. <laughs> Inflation. But yeah. So what's interesting about this, reading the guaranteed doomsday apocalypse scenario here. Worst, 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 worst thing that can happen. What does the account value say? Is it more or less than a hundred grand, Tana? A little bit more. Okay. $439 well, wait, that, more. Yeah. How can that be Not true? Much. In the worst case scenario of the world, my money hasn't gone down. I thought money goes down when things are bad. All right. Not what is, what does the word surrender generally mean to you? So you would, if you wanted to cash out before the terms. Yeah. So I want to, I want to early jump or, ship. Yeah. Jump ship. Don't go down with the ship. Jump ship. Yeah. And is the surrender value more or less than a hundred grand? It's actually the same. It's the same as the account value. Very yeah. good. So yeah. number one, what we've learned here is in the worst case scenario, we do not lose any money, no matter how bad right. it is. We have principal like protection, that. meaning yeah. we have safety. You see the, the second bullet point I put on there was guaranteed minimum interest. That's kind of what this is showing is there's a worst case scenario, minimum amount of interest that you earn on this. That's not what we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on growth. Remember, that's a part of our pyramid. And so we want to look at the growth piece of this. Oh, by the way, in the last column, you notice there's something called a death benefit. Remember, there's two ways that people use money. Do you know, do you know what they are? We've never, I don't think we've ever talked about this just from a, like a formal sense, but I'll <laughs> test you. What are the two ways that people could use money in during their, well, during to live on lives? and then also to pass on as a legacy. You did good. Oh, I was going to fire you on the spot with everybody watching. If you, if you <laughs> fub that too hard, flub, oh dear. Flub. I, I don't even know what I said. So you're either going to spend your money yeah. or you're going to give it away. Right. I, I, I'm sorry. Please write in. <laughs> Send us an email. There's any Tana other at the lindgroup.com. Give us the third option between spend it or give it away. Right? There's two things. Yeah. Right? What's going to happen? You might not choose to give it away. It's just that it naturally gets given away in the end. <laughs> um, so the way that this works is we have our cash basically sitting here. It is liquid. It is accessible. It is growing at a micro amount. So not much. But it's ready to go if we need to spend it. At the same token, if we accidentally fall into the give it away category because an asteroid hits us, well, guess what? The money practically in this example is practically doubled and it's completely tax free if we did that. You know, so if I could take a yeah. hundred grand, pass almost 200 grand completely tax free, it's fantastic, to the little adorable people in my life, that's not a bad that's a stick. Good investment, yes. Yeah. So remember, doomsday apocalypse here. In the worst case scenario, we have principal protection. We have guaranteed minimum interest. We have 100% liquidity. And oh, by the way, if we accidentally uh, grow wings and, and scoot town, then there's a whole lot more money for everybody else. Completely tax-free. They'll love you. Well, that sounds miserable. <laughs> and there's more, right? We need like, all right. We need like, we should have done this in like boxes, like, like a prize box. <laughs> Yeah, we go on. So, okay, this just got 10 times more complicated, right? On the next screen here, now I'm showing way more numbers. And everybody who's watching this just went, here we go. So I just went over the worst, 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 worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. Remember, compare this to your cash sitting in the bank doing nothing. What What is yeah. the worst case scenario with your cash? It's always your cash. Right. Right? It's always there. It loves you. It's been waiting for you all along. Doesn't grow. No, boring. Um, certainly no doubling up of a death benefit or anything. <laughs> so in the far right column, this is the non-guaranteed. So I already went through the guaranteed. What is the worst case scenario here? But in the in the more normal case scenario, the way that these work is they follow the positive upside of the S&P 500. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, they could earn up to a 10% year return. Now, 
granted, I could have ran this at what's 10%. Oh, look how awesome this is. My goodness, we're all going to be rich. I wanted to be a little more uh, objective about that. Conservative, yeah. So yeah. Tana and I went with a 6% return. What yeah. if it gave us 6%? 10 yeah. seems a little hopeful. A little, yes. But hey, knock on wood, we always get 10. Um, but what you can see here is in the far right column, if this thing earns 6%, Come down to your account value. It earned about 5% by the end of the year because the stock mm -hmm. market went up. What do you notice about the surrender value and the account value in the first year if you earned actually that almost 5%? Yeah, they're Anna, the same. About, they're yeah, the same. They're the you, same. Are you saying that I could leave and take all my money? Right. Without being I know this is on the hand? very that, that, unusual. <laughs> impossible. It's a lie. Uh, Mike had to have probably made this all on a spreadsheet. <laughs> it's a trick. <laughs> no. So it's really cool. So once a year, if the market has gone up, this account credits interest based on the market. If the market doesn't go up, we have the doomsday guaranteed numbers to never fail us Which is uh, great. As, as behind yeah. the scenes. But this is truly the type of investment vehicle where you could very comfortably be earning a four, five, six, seven percent return, you know, based on the, the market just kind of tooting along and doing mm -hmm. a little bit. Conversely, in any given year where the stock market goes down, you don't lose any money, right? We have principal protection. We have no market risk here. You also notice the death benefit on the far right column. If Gross. the market is performing, yeah. if we're earning a little bit of interest, if this thing is actually growing as an investment, the death benefit's also going to increase over time mm -hmm. in most situations. So it, it's tough because, you know, one of the things that I do when I look at as an investor is I try to play the too good to be true game. And I say, okay, you know, this sounds a little too good to be true. So what are the, what are the reasons why this isn't as totally cheery as Mike said? So Tanner, right. if I had to quiz you again, I, I guess we didn't fully prepare the show because I didn't, <laughs> we didn't figure out what <laughs> you I was didn't quiz me. <laughs> so look, traditionally we say, Hey, look, I want an investment that grows. It is safe. It is liquid. Most investments do not offer us all three. They only offer us two. This investment, I feel, is dipping our toes in all three of those categories. Right. Well, why would that be? How come this gets to be the oops from baby book? Why Why does this get to be the turkey, the weird one in the room that can do whatever it wants? Well, not everybody's going to qualify for this. So that That's gets probably tricky. the best point right yeah. there. Is yeah. you could because be it has that yeah. death benefit. Yeah. Not everybody yeah. qualifies. Um, it's not some hardcore thing where it's like, traditional life insurance where you got to go take a medical exam and, you know, and they want to, you know, send over the police to look through your house <laughs> to see if you've been smoking pot or something. The, um, they ask you a handful of medical questions yeah. just to make sure you qualify. So this isn't right. something that would work for everybody. There's another thing too. You can't use yeah. your retirement account with this kind of stuff. So remember, right. this is now getting into IRS rules and tax stuff. The IRS does not allow any investment of a retirement account into any type of investment mm -hmm. that has some kind of an, an enhanced death benefit in that form. Um, because you can't have a tax-free death benefit on an IRA, right? <laughs> Your IRA has <laughs> never been taxed. So the IRS ain't, ain't having it. Nope. So Tana nailed it. So not everybody can get this, right? So yeah. even though this is appeases a lot of those categories, not everyone can get it. You can't use your retirement accounts. We used an example of a 60-year-old in these illustrations but depending on your age and your situation, the death benefit is going to vary. You know, if you're mm -hmm. like for me, I ran one on myself. I'm thinking about getting one on myself. Um, my mom actually has one of these. She was the guinea pig <laughs> myself. Um, <laughs> as a 41 year old, I, I could get almost a $300,000 death benefit on the mm -hmm. same type of deposit. So I get more leverage because of my age. Right. Conversely, if you're a 70 year old, you're, you're going to have a little less death benefit. So that's a varying factor. And then I was looking at, or we were discussing though, the use case of this. What, what is the person that would use something like this? And wholeheartedly, if you have cash or money mm -hmm. market sitting around, we'll say yeah. excessively, you know, if you're the kind of person that's got a hundred, a couple hundred grand sitting around, just getting eaten alive by inflation, right. this would be the perfect liquid accessible investment mm -hmm. as a cash proxy. More importantly though, what's worse than cash? Bonds. Bonds, yeah. Bonds are terrible. Tana, do you think right. the feds are going to keep raising rates? Oh, definitely. Then guess what? Your bonds are going to keep yep, being terrible for money. the next number of years. So if you're a bond investor, this would be a great bond yeah. proxy, right? This would be a great way to, to try to achieve that whole goal of a bond. You know, my, my, 
my three, four, five percent return is what we hope for out of a bond. Mm -hmm. So I hope I get a little more here. Um, but without the market risk, remember bonds are having the worst year in like 25 years this year. Mm -hmm. If you're just a conservative investor, you hate the stock market, mm -hmm. you just don't want to be involved in it, but you need something that can earn more money than your cash at the bank. This might be very appropriate for that. Yeah. And then kind of finally, the bullet point on the high level is if you have a desire to leave money to other people, but you're mm -hmm. concerned that you need access to the money because, you know, what if, what if you get sick? What if yeah. you change? What if you need to move? What if, what if, what if, what if? Um, so there's a lot of moving parts here, but I think on a really high level, it's really fascinating. Here, let me mm -hmm. go backwards. It just goes back to this, right? This is the perfect investment. If we had an investment that grows as yeah. safe and as liquid, that feels really good. Now, granted, is this going to give us the same total investment return of being full blown in the stock market? The no. stock market goes up hundred percent. No, no. But is it going to do a thousand times better than our bank accounts? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's going to do better than most insurance products. It's going to, you know, it's going to be safe. It's going to be liquid. And so, mm -hmm. I don't know. What's your thought, Tana? No, I think you know this, this could be a really good fit this. for some people. And so, you know, it's just a matter of checking out your options, you know, talk to us, call us, let us know your situation and your, and we can work through it and see if this would be a good fit for you. Yeah. So there you have it. Look at us talking product. Who knew? <laughs> yeah, we got a Very banner rare, somewhere. Where's the banner? Why is it so hard We got to put share up? things that are important like this though. Well, because... and that's like I said, we, we yeah. never do this, but it just seems so current of any, you know, there's right. a lot of people sitting on cash. There's a lot of people in bonds out there. There's mm -hmm. a lot of anxiety in the market. Definitely. And so we're looking for opportunities that are beneficial to people. But hey, if you got questions, give the office a call 805-500-7035. Ask for Tana Pennington. <laughs> Let me yep. repeat that. Ask for Tana Pennington. <laughs> yes. Um, she'd be more than happy to discuss this with you, you give and see my how cell it phone. might fit into your overall portfolio. <laughs> also visit our main website, the Lind group.com. Lind is L Y N D. But Hey, oh, yeah. if you got questions, let us know. Uh, I know this show is a little out of the norm for a lot of people. Normally we're touching on all the economics yeah. and politics and all that garbage. And guess what? This is a, this is the next couple of weeks. There's a lot going on with earnings coming out, mm -hmm. uh, GDP data, CPI data, all the blah, it's coming out for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, so it might be a little rocky for the next couple of weeks in the market, <laughs> but uh, we'll be reporting all that back to you guys yes. soon enough. So anyways, we, we love our listeners. We appreciate all the feedback that we get and we hope everybody has a great week. And I stall for two seconds to find the outro video. And then we say <laughs> toodaloo. <laughs>